In this video, we will be getting into some newfound fragrances, how to find our signature scent, and a few oldies but goodies. Hello beauties, I'm Gigi, and this is Gigi's Flavor of Life, and here I share my unique style to help you discover yours. Welcome into the closet to all the new beauties who are stepping into the closet for the very first time. And to all my returning beauties, uh, hey girl, hey. Thank you for stopping by again and hanging out with me. Now let's get into it. So today beauties, I want to share with you my signature scent, some of my new incense, as well as how to find your signature scent. What is the scent that represents you? I wanna share a few tips with you on how to, how to figure that out. And the process can be fun, it can be rewarding. And I feel like finding your signature scent is part of your own personal style. Just as I prefer to wear like an Oxford or a loafer, that's just a part of my signature style. I feel like my signature scent is just as important if not more important than that one piece that you know, oh, Gigi likes loafers or, you know, I love a good wide leg pant. I feel like it's just as important. So let's get into our first tip. So beauties, my first tip would be to figure out what sort or type of scents do you gravitate toward? Do you love a floral scent? Do you love a spicy scent? Do you love something that is more warm or something that is more of a, on the masculine side? Or do you love something that is more of a fresh scent? For me, I tend to gravitate towards a more of a spicy warm, sort of like a heavy, I'm not necessarily a floral girl, it depends, but I definitely love a more of a woody and a spicy scent, which you'll see later on when I share um, my signature scent with you. So that would be my first tip. Now, while I am not a floral girl at all, I do not love an extremely floral scent, the very first scent that I would love to share with you is one of my all-time favorites, one that will forever be in my scent collection, and it is Red Roses by Jo Malone. This is what she looks like. There she goes. Now, at a point, I believe this scent was discontinued at my dismay. Um, she is a floral. Now, her notes are, I'm just gonna check out my iPad, guys. Her notes are lemon, according to their website, lemon, which you don't really get in the beginning. You get you get more so roses, but then you do get like a zing of that lemon scent, almost like a zest. So lemon, seven of the world's quote unquote, most exquisite roses and honeycomb. You don't get like a dead flowers in the attic sort of scent. And you guys know what I mean when you, you know, you come across that floral scent and it smells like dead flowers in the attic. It's not like that at all. It is so soft, it is so fresh, and it is just so delicious of a scent. I mean, I can't say enough about this scent. Um, she doesn't linger in a bad way. You know how some floral scents can just linger around, like you hug that lady and now her perfume is all over you and you're like, oh my God, I can't get this off of me. And it literally does not come off of you. It's not like that at all. It's such a pleasant and inviting scent. Um, this size is the 3.4 ounce, it's 165. It comes in a one ounce as well, that's 80 bucks. And it comes in a soap a bath oil, hand and body lotion, hand and body wash. It also comes in a diffuser and of course it comes in a candle as well. So this is Beauty's one of my all time favorite scents. I mean, she will forever, she will forever, she will forever be in my collection of scents. She is 
Joe Malone's Red Roses. Now, my second tip to you beauties is to sample and try out a variety of scents. Now, even though you may have identified or you think you may have identified your preference and for me like i said before it is very i love a spicy scent i love a woozy scent and i don't like florals however i like the red roses by joe malone and i only know that because i sampled it so make sure you visit your local department stores or your beauty boutiques and ask for those samples take them home spray them and try them on your 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 pulse points and see what resonates with you what you love and also what you don't love so that beauties is my second tip. and with that let's get into the second fragrance that i love now she is a new discovery and let me be clear we are going to be going all over the place as far as price point is concerned i am not a fragrance snob at all so the second scent that we will be trying out is from Target, Boutique Target. It is from their finery line of scents. And this one is called, it's a body musk, it, uh, not body musk, a body mist. And it does come in a perfume as well. I love the body mist and it is called I'm a Musk. And this is what she looks like now i originally found this scent because my co-worker she was wearing this other another scent by the finery called sunfora and i have it here let me show you that um she was wearing this one and every time she would waft past me i would her name's ashley hey ashley Every time she would walk past me, I would be like, girl, what are you wearing? And this is what she was wearing. So a few weeks back, I was in Target and I was, you know, cruising around. And I said, let me go over here and see what else I can see. And um, I found I'm a Musk. And I love like a very, obviously a musky scent. But I also love sandalwood. I love something that is very unisex as well while it still gives soft but it's not too girly you know what i mean i mean it, it just smells divine but anyway let me give you the details on her. her these are her notes fluffy musk which you know i love a musk cotton blossom which i kind of get a little bit of a cottony cottony fresh scent from her creamy sandalwood i love a good sandalwood meat and sandalwood go way way back to the muslim man oil sandalwood if you know if you know if you know you know um now the body spray is 17.69 and the perfume is 35.49 of course guys i'm gonna have all of these linked below um she's also clean vegan and cruelty free so I um like I said before, I am not I'm not a I'm not a um I'm not a fragrance snob. And if something smells good to me, I mean, I'm here for it. I tend to spray her on as a layering scent. So I'll spray her on first and then I may spray something on top of her. I do love to wear her underneath another perfume that I'm going to show you in a bit um she's just really a fun and expensive scent and i feel like she does last she has a she does last um throughout the day for me and um i love it and i just wanted to share it with you guys so her price point is amazing and if you're looking for a good musky scent or if you think you may like a musky scent it's a great way to try it out at a very ex inexpensive um price point so that dairies is the scent number two target's finery i'm a musk now my next tip to you beauties would be to take your time now there is no rush in finding your signature scent it took me a very long time to find mine 
there are just so many different scents out here and i feel like the fragrance market is just especially around like the holiday time they just throw so many different new ones at us i mean it's just so many i mean just take your time and get your samples and spray them and maybe consider wearing one for a particular week or maybe even a month just to see how you really feel about it how it works with your body chemistry is it your personality is it giving if you are a very outgoing person is it giving loud and outgoing or are you a more of a quiet and demure introverted person so is it giving soft and sultry so there's just so many scents out here to consider and we are looking for a bit of a forever scent so I feel like since we are looking for something that is going to not saying that you can't change your mind because you can that but the gist of it is to find something that is your signature that will be forever your signature whether you deviate from it or not from time to time you always gravitate back towards it so finding something like that most definitely should take time so be patient and if you don't find it right away keep on looking now beauties the next scent that i would love to share with you is from a brand called tokyo milk now i don't think that i have ever seen this scent anywhere other than the internet of course and a local boutique here um, where i'm from called uh, raquel's home and garden um this is what she looks like and not like i said she is new in new in so this is um I still have her in the box. So this is her packaging. This particular scent that I am in love with is called Bulletproof. And again, I love those dark scents. And of course on her packaging, at the top there it says Tokyo Milk Dark because I just, I love a dark scent, I do. This is how she comes packaged. This is what she looks like. And when I tell you, woo child, she smells good. Oh my God, she smells good. Mm. I also guys I am a sucker for a very like a smoky scent and this it is giving smoky scent so the notes in this scent are let's see smoked tea which I love a good smoked woody sort of scent smoked tea coconut milk crushed cedar there's that woodsy darkness um, ebony woods um, it is a unisex scent I must say she just smells so darn good guys she is a unisex um, scent and her price point is really not that bad for this particular size which is the 1.6 floral ounce she is um, 52 bucks so the brand is called Tokyo Milk. And like I said before, I had I seen it on the internet before. And like I said, the only other place that I think I've actually seen it in person is a local boutique here. And she most definitely is one of my one of my most favorite scents. And I have been, I mean, I've been using her into the ground. This is the scent that I tend to layer with the I'm a musk so I'll do the I'm a musk and then I'll put this on top and child she just smells so good she does have a very good throw and she has a very good lasting um lasting power so this dearies is my third my third uh scent and she is new in um she's new in for 2024 and um if you're looking for something like dark and spicy and something that's not you know the price point is a very good price point it's another opportunity for you to try something sort of woody and spicy and warm at a, at a fraction of the cost of say something more higher in at 52 bucks and give her a try 
you will not be disappointed. So my third scent beauties is Bulletproof by Tokyo Milk. Now beauties, my next tip is a very simple tip and is possibly the reason why you clicked on this video. Simply ask for recommendations. Ask your friends, ask your family, and listen, I am good for stopping someone in the street and asking them, hey, where'd you get that? Hey, where's that scent from? Hey, you smell divine, what are you wearing? Ask your friends and family, or you know, stop that occasional lady or man on the street and ask them, hey, what are you wearing? Because listen, as I always say, um, when I'm speaking to one of my girlfriends, you don't know everything and there is something to be learned from each and every single person that you encounter so like i said there are so many sins out here and lord knows i don't know them all and um a lot of times i may tune into uh, a scent or a perfume expert here on youtube just to see you know what's new or what's old or you know what is new in the perfume world that i may enjoy so ask your friends and ask your families what are their favorites what are they wearing what did they used to wear back in the day because sometimes some of those scents are still around and they're still available so that is the next tip dearies uh ask a friend for recommendations or stop into your local beauty boutique or your local Nordstrom counter and get some advice from one of the perfume ex experts there in the department store. So ask a friend. So beauties, that last tip takes me right into this next scent, which I found by watching my girl Tashira over on her channel here on YouTube, Politics and Fashion. Um, I was looking for something new to try, just to deviate a little or add a little bit of variety to my scent collection. And she tried and she raved, she raved about this scent. And she's tiny, but she's mighty. And this is her. This is the Maison Louis Marie number four de Balancourt perfume oil rollerball. She's quite a mouthful. Now this is um this is the point the the point one ounce is what I'm trying to say. This is the point one ounce and she's 16 bucks. Now I found this when I was watching she smells so good guys now i found this when i was watching um politics and fashion over the vlogmas christmas holiday season and i believe it was her episode number eight i will link it down below so you guys can check out what she says about this perfume as well as the other things that she lists in the video now this is a rollerball style it's an oil which child i have not tried an oil Come on now, camera. I have not tried an oil, I mean, since a very, very, very long time ago. And I must say, this tiny little bottle, she packs a huge punch, okay? She's not, she has some notes that I do tend to gravitate towards, but she also has some that, you know, were surprising to me. So, her notes are vitivir, which I not necessarily one of my favorite scents but in this she's divine sandalwood which child i am a sandalwood girl and amber wood so like again i love those woodsy scents as you can see there is a theme here with the scents and the fragrances that i love i love spicy i love woodsy i love musky i love dark so this most definitely falls into that category for me um she comes in a body oil, a hand and body lotion, a diffuser, a candle, body and hand wash. She comes in a deodorant and also a, there is a spray version of her as well. She is new, new for me. Like I said, she's new in and she is, this is my first time trying this scent. And I must say that I, I enjoy, I love it. She's long lasting. Um, 
you get like I said you get a huge punch for your a whole 16 bucks and I mean she lasts so you don't need a lot you just you know roll a little bit on here roll a little bit on there and you are good to go she's phthalate paraben sulfate and cruelty free if any of you guys are concerned about those things um but like i said again she is a very very divine scent a quite of an unusual scent i, I can't think of anything to really compare this particular perfume to um but she's good and the price point is perfect 16 bucks if you just want to give something new a try and i'm so glad that i spent the 16 bucks and gave it a try the maison louis marie number four balancourt perfume oil rollerball that is our fourth new incense now beauties my next tip for finding your signature scent would be to make sure when you are trying out these scents to pay attention to the longevity of the scent how long does it last and how intense the scent is now of course we want our scents when we spray them on we want them to last all day for the most part but we also don't want them to be overwhelming or overpowering because just because something is extremely intense doesn't mean it smells good i got a funny story i remember we used to work with this young woman at my job and she wore the most beautiful scented perfumes and very expensive perfumes might i add but for some reason in her head the more that she sprayed the better it smelled so you know what that turned into that turned into expensive great smelling scents that had extremely long longevity where you only needed like a dab here or there they smelled horrible and she offended everyone because she wore entirely too much it was just too overpowering so you definitely don't want the scent that you're wearing to be overpowering you don't want to need a lot of it you just only want to need enough of it that it lasts all day for the most part and that it doesn't offend so that dears is my next tip is to find a signature scent that is not too overpowering and that has longevity now can we please just get into this next scent which is my own personal signature scent which happens to be tom ford's noir de noir now i have been wearing this scent guys for i don't know how many years i mean if you know you know if you know you know oh my god let me see this particular one is the 50 milliliter and how they describe this scent on their website is and i quote rich feminine florals that collide with the masculine earthiness of black truffle vanilla patchouli and oud wood the warm and sensual gourmand fragrance is the essence of yin's dance with yang girl this scent is my all-time favorite scent 10 out of 10 would recommend now i originally found this scent i don't know if you guys remember if you do remember let me let me know down in the comments i used to go in jeffrey's in the meatpacking district with my girlfriend sashida and we would be shopping around you know smelling all the cologne smelling all the perfumes looking at all the things and this that was where i discovered this scent so every time we would go in there child i would just go right over to the perfume section and i would just you know i would get me a little sample i would just i would get the little and the little scent the little sample papers child and i'll put them all in my purse and finally i was just like you know what i just love this scent so much like this is just this is the be all end all for me so the notes are black rose black truffle and patchouli and of course it has a hint of of oud i mean 
it is just so divine if you know me then you most definitely you know this scent for sure um it's a part of the time for private collection and for this particular size which is the 50 milliliter it is 295 bucks it is the best 295 bucks that i have ever spent in my whole entire life because when i say lasting power and longevity in the scent child she will last you all day when you come home at nighttime to strip down and get ready for bed noir de noir you will still smell all over you now in his collection the private collection there are so many other scents that are i mean they're just divine they really are but in my opinion in my my own personal opinion nothing tops nothing tops Tom Ford's Noir de Noir, which happens to be my signature scent. And of course, beauties, my last and final tip to finding your signature scent is to just go ahead and commit to a scent. Once you figure out all of the other things, you find that one scent, you commit to it. You wear it every day or once or twice a week until it becomes to be known and associated with you and your personality. Because again, remember, scents are connected to our memories. I mean, just think about it. Do you know that one person or maybe even a few people who the minute that you smell, the minute that you smell a scent, you immediately think of that person right quite right off the top i can think of a scent coco coco what is it called coco chanel's mademoiselle i have a girlfriend that used to wear that scent i mean that was her signature scent and every time somebody waft past me with that scent on i immediately think of her and i immediately think of all the wonderful memories that i had with her and all the fun times that we had together and all the foolishness that we got into of course as well so when you figure out all of the other things you know your scent that you love and light or dark or all of those things you've tried a million of them or two million of them or however many you have tried Confirm your choice and stick with it and wear it and let it become a part of your personal style. And that way people will begin to associate that scent with you and to all of the good memories that the two of you or the three of you are your friend group that you all share. So that beauties, that's my tips as well as the new in and old scents as well as my signature scent. And I hope you enjoyed this roundup. Now, beauties, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for stopping by the closet today. Oh, I didn't want to forget this time. The lip I'm wearing is Ruby Rush. Isn't that what it's called? Ruby Rush? Is Ruby Rush by Tom Ford. My earrings are from TJ Maxx. I'm wearing a marshall's blazer as well as a what is this a um a corset top from last last summer or the summer before last from zara my bracelet stack is a love bangle and an amazon um tennis bracelet and this beautiful scarab bracelet came from my dear best friend and sister share more share more you know i love you now beauties thank you so much for stopping by the closet and don't forget to like share and subscribe hit that notification bell so you do not miss an upload and beauties thank you so much for stopping by i'll see you next week Mwah. bye